Hey fragrance friends and enthusiasts, welcome back. It's Benjamin here at the Centaur Fragrance Channel showcasing another beautiful fragrance. Guys, this is La Yucawam from the House of Versace. You probably know all about it, but I did want to put out a review here today. Yes, this one was hyped, very popular in the past, sold out. I uh, couldn't get it, and I, when I first wanted this fragrance, it was actually sold out for months. And uh, there's a reason for that, guys. We'll talk about that and how this fragrance can save you money. And it's really a great value for what it is. It's, it's long-lasting, guys. You don't want to miss this review it's great so first off this is a leather fragrance it's really really nice it's very similar or compared to tuscan leather and now that's a big reference point if you're not familiar with tuscan leather we're going to talk about it but if you already know then you're in the know so this fragrance is has that dark it almost has that tom ford kind of almost patchouli like vibe without smelling like patchouli but almost feeling like that but overall it has raspberry on the top you know not very common in men's perfumery but raspberry has a really nice twang a really beautiful type of sourness about it that's really inviting it's not very sweet here it's like sim it's like semi-sweet or semi-bitter and uh, the raspberry lasts a lot longer than it does in tuscan leather again i'm not trying to make this a comparison video but the raspberry here is really likable, guys. It's it's just nice, and it lasts a long time with the fragrance. And uh, one of the best, longest-lasting raspberries, and one of the best raspberries, especially for the money, uh, you know, out there. It, it evolves to a leather fragrance. I want to keep it simple, but it's a beautiful leather. It's smooth. It's rich. It has some suede-like aspects to it. There's some albanum, I believe that's how you say it, which adds some sour, almost incense like uh, you know, qualities to this fragrance. And uh, there's some other there's some hidden hidden things in here like some thyme which add a, a nice balance and to add to the depth and uh you know a little bit of the transition from the raspberry to the leather and from the opening to the mid and uh there's there's some interesting things going on in this fragrance but again this is mostly of what you're going to smell is a rich almost dark but not not exactly dark but a rich leather fragrance that's really beautiful very well done there's some jasmine that adds some sensuality but if you smell this fragrance you might not say or be able to point out the jasmine but it does add some sensuality and adds a little bit of lift um, to this you know fragrance that could be a little bit heavy leather sometimes can come off as a little bit dry it's just very well done and that raspberry um, it's pretty likable for a leather fragrance overall it's just done right and uh, very likable um, I, I'm, I'm gonna be bold here I'm gonna be very bold and some people have said it before I did but I thought the exact same thing I think that this is better than Tuscan leather we'll talk about it a little bit more at the end of the review guys but if you just want it short and sweet it lasts j almost just as long it gives you great performance it's worth the money check it out and uh, this is a great fragrance guys it really is performance wise you will not be disappointed with this fragrance i get 10 hours plus after 10 hours sometimes maybe my nose goes nose blind or it's hard to pick up but i know and i can see and i've gotten people tell me that they can smell it well beyond 10 hours so be careful on the trigger guys this is a fragrance that over four sprays might be too much but if you really want to get noticed five or six sprays and you'll definitely be projecting and you'll definitely be reaching out there if you put on more than you know four or five six sprays of this one you might just choke people out especially if you're in an office or business a professional situation or any environment where you might be close to people or around people who are really sensitive to fragrance so really nice uh performance guys projection i don't know if i would say it's beast mode but it's up there it's a very strong projector and siage is very respectable as well so overall i don't think you'll be disappointed especially for the value for what this is uh when we get to that uh, talking about the value and the price so this fragrance, simply amazing, compliment factor wise. As far as leather fragrances go, this is one of the more likable ones. I do have Polo Supreme Leather, which uh, has a lot of honey in that one. That one's a great leather fragrance as well for you gents. Uh, but this that this one is, has a lot more performance. It can really reach out there. It can really cut through the cold. And that's one reason I wanted to bring it out to you guys. It uh, would be wonderful for the cool fall winter weather. It it's, uh, can cut through. It can get you noticed. It's great with a leather jacket. It's great with a coat. It's, it has these calm sensual kind of qualities about it and um, it's really one of the best it's really one of the best if not the best leather for your money and I'm not joking I'm not exaggerating this is an amazing leather fragrance for the value and for the money of what you're getting again I didn't get chased down exactly but I got respect I got people kind of giving the ooh ah face when they smell this one because it's such a likable leather and I don't I don't 
think people encounter leather dominated or leather focused fragrances that often some people it's you know odd but this one's really likable but when somebody connects or likes leather uh, you know it's it they fall in love with it and uh, it can make you feel you know be really attractive so this one's great anyways uh, price wise let's jump into that value i promised to you know, to talk about y'all you know value for money how affordable this fragrance is and how it's such a good value guys this fragrance if you do buy, get it at a, at a discounter like fragrance net um, if you do use like the 35 percent off code you can get it for about 60 dollars you know some places you might pay up to 80 uh supposedly you know that some people in the past especially were able to get this cheaper i don't know if for saucy's uh, up their prices a little bit or if people you know distributors know that they can charge a little bit more for this one because it's worth it i'm not really sure exactly with the prices but you can expect to pay 60 60 to 80 dollars and i think it's worth the money uh the bottle is quite nice it's it's quite it's a this is a metallic leaf uh you know for the for the tree and the woodiness and this a little bit of that in the fragrance and again uh, signifying the fall it's a beautiful classy presentation the sprayer's great again you get that copper like look on the cap um, I didn't show y'all, but it comes in a, a wooden magnetic presentation. It's, it's almost like a little miniature uh, niche fragrance. It's, ma it's not a terribly strong magnet, but it's magnetic. And uh, guys, it's stunning. Long lasting. It's a better value than Tuscan leather. Trust me, guys, if you like Tuscan leather, but if you felt like it was not very wearable, you felt like it was too dark, and uh, this one's more wearable. It's more likable. It gets you more positive attention, and it gets you. It still gives you just as good performance. I prefer this over Tuscan leather. And don't get me wrong, Tuscan leather was a revolutionary fragrance. It changed the fragrance game. It's a really nice fragrance, and I maybe would like to have it one day, but I don't know when to wear that fragrance. I would only wear it, um, you know, if I was in the mood, maybe in the fall or winter. This one's a little bit more versatile. And um, I, I tend to want to reach for this one a little bit more. It's just a little bit more more likable, I guess you could say, um, and more it makes it more versatile. But still, a very very you know leathery dominated fragrance, making it you know pretty unique to the average person. Especially if you don't have any leather fragrances in your collection, I encourage you to get out, go out there, and maybe try this one or maybe get polo supreme leather if you don't have yourself a good leather i think that you're missing out ombre leather is also really great and very wearable but again guys this one compared to tuscan leather it'll it's it's a third or a fourth of the price and to ombre leather it's a third or half of the price of that and uh, it's really really nice it is a 75 mil so take that into consideration it's not a full 100 mil but um, you might just fall in love with this guys just like i did uh, La Yukawam Rasasi, worth the hype, absolutely 100%. It's hyped for a reason. Um, if you don't know about it, get your nose on it. I don't think you'd be disappointed, especially if you're ready to jump into leathers. Again, this isn't a little bit of leather. This is all about the leather. So uh, if you're ready to dive into it, you won't be disappointed. So everybody, I hope that you liked my review today. I hope that you enjoyed it, and uh, I hope that I made a lot of sense and it added value. You know, I hope that my my review added value to you. And if you if it was worthwhile, if it was a good value, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video, and uh, tell a friend. I'll see you next time, everybody. Wear what you love, rock what you got, and I'll see you next time, everybody. Peace out and bye.